and we're gonna do the HMS run tomorrow. Tub's gonna be about 300 pounds, I think. Yeah, take your boxes. Are you taking this big dick? You take, you take taking this thing? No, I don't want that. Who made that? I don't know. The big. One thing Joe didn't want, huh? You haven't seen it yet. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna garage seal this. Let's see what kind of. Be kind of somebody may want it from a garage seal. Just for the hell of it. See if someone comes out and buys it. almost borderline borderline HMS that's good for scaffold keep this here No, over there. It's a mess.
Hey, hold on. So we're cleaning up the area here. Um, let's strip a couple of these fins here, get them off. Clean. I want to be ready. I got lots of work coming next week, so if the bobcat guy comes to do work, he said he needs a couple days of nice weather, but hopefully he gets on soon. No time to process these right now. Some of these might be steel. This one looks like steel. It's just look of it. Ooh, might be brass. If I take these fins off here, I'll have cast aluminum there. I'm almost thinking it might be that owl, one of the owls. Is that owl that hit a window here? Possible that she could have hit a window, had broken back, neck or something or back, went down under the car, and, and one of the cats ate him, or something dragged him away. There's no, there's no, um, no bones. But the owl I seen was really big. It was white, so I don't, don't know. Not sure what that is. I thought it might be a grouse or something. A pheasant. But I just don't know. It's a shame if it's the owl. One of the owls. There's three. But owls are pretty smart. I, I don't know how we get, get caught. So I don't know. Okay, that's how it is. This is phone here, I'll take it apart quickly. Take the battery for recycling. Hmm. It's really fine. What kind of board it has. So, 
electric old board. It's like a cell phone board actually. Those two, two screws at the end. I'll show you the progress upstairs after. Little gold contacts there. High C chip. Garbage plastic. This will be cast. And it does add up pretty quick. That's dirty. Dirty cast. With the battery charging right now. Okay. Okay, so this one here fluked out. Okay, okay, I actually double checked this. Well, I'll strip them anyways, but this one's brass. That's brass. Look at that. That's awesome. A little bit of copper. These are that's aluminum here, but that's definitely brass. And then I'll take this off here. It's only cast, but hey, cast is cast. This one has got a. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I call here, someone wants to talk to me. He texted me a second ago. Okay. This guy actually wants this tricycle for 20 bucks, but people think it's going to be something really good. It's, uh, it's, I tell them it's rusty. So I don't know. I don't want to. One guy wanted it for free, and another guy said he wanted it, but people are just dreaming. They're thinking it's going to be a, you know, super expensive bike, but it's a piece of crap. That's why, I, to be honest, for me to waste my time for $20 and, and deal with cheap meet people at a certain time, to me, it's not worth it. Because he, one guy says, oh, it's too rusty, then I'm wasting my time coming here, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's sometimes better to just scrap it. That's why I scrap a lot so many bikes because stuff like that is just a little bit rusty. People don't want it. They're expecting something that's super hot, like super, like fantastic. But it's not not gonna be like that, huh? If you know what I mean. So a little out of value. Oh, but out of value here. Come on, always something. A little out of value here. Break it. Okay, whatever. It's probably a. It's, it might be a Torx actually, but it could be wrong. Or it could actually be a big, big square. Big Phillips. Anyways, but so this guy wants to come tomorrow. How come now it's all stripped out? Now they don't work. Must be a couple different bolts here or something. Anyways, you've seen it, the extra value. If you get brass, you know, you got a pound of brass here. Maybe. Mm, it's pretty heavy. Copper, aluminum. It's just added value. Okay. Okay, so the wall's out. So, all we're going to do is, uh, you know, somewhere here, we'll put an engineered beam in there. The engineer is going to engineer. We'll come here and engineer it. That drop will come out. This will be, it's actually almost the right height. Might have to come up a little higher. And the opening was going to be just a storm standard. It was too narrow before, so it's better. And over here, this will be a bigger 
this will take it all be framed to the chimney and the floor will come out and then we're just gonna put a drop in the ceiling maybe like a six inch drop for a, a ceiling fan to go out the outside we'll leave the ceiling up and then um, new floor here and then we're gonna double drywall all this I'm not gonna take it all out it's just too much too much hassle But as you can see, I was hoping to dump that and fill this truck up today, but no, it didn't work out. But well, I'm charging the battery now, so it's good. So, this one was all warped here because they, when they filled this wall in here, this will have to be filled in here, sealed. And anyways, uh, it'll be a six inch drop here, drop here, drop here, drop there, and drop there, and then there'll be pot lights in here. Maybe like six pot lights and some of that. Maybe like six here too or something. I mean, I tested it. I tested the drywall. The drywall's fine. But once you take the ceiling down, everything falls down. Insulation, everything. I don't want to go overboard on the rental part. So we'll leave it. Just put a little drop. And anyways, uh, this thing here. Look, I jammed in here. This thing's for the ther thermostat. I mean, thermostat for the uh, furnace. So I was hoping to get this clear, right? And get carpenters on here and do stuff, but. So it'd be nice, it'd be nice and open. Well, it should be pretty nice. It'd make a difference. And then the kitchen will be a full ceiling. So there'll be like a stove here and there'll be the wall will be somewhere around here. So hide the stove a little bit and this will be open. Something like from here on open should be pretty good. There'll be laundry in the back and there'll be the dishwasher, fridge stove, sink. There'll be new plumbing there because the plumbing is pretty old. A little plastic in there or something. Just patch it up and redo it. Okay, so this is this. This part's good. The uh, only thing we have to do is pull the floor out, but the guy that works for me, he's he, he's only good for four or five hours and then and then he's dead, but he works hard, so it's okay for me. He worked pretty hard. But the bathtub took about half an hour to smash a bathtub. That was r ridiculous. That was so heavy. Couldn't lift it. it took, two guys could barely move it. Right, it was thicker than normal. So anyways, just wanted to show you that. Um, and then there'll be more debris. So what I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do is get rid of the drywall and some of the small debris here. Like, see, some of that small debris could go as garbage, but long as the bigger drywall's out, it's mostly plaster. Looks like it's, it's plaster on drywall. And then get this clean, and they'll vacuum it really nice, vacuum it so it's no dusty, because when you use air tools, it makes too much dust. Okay, I'm going to see if I can cut up that uh, scaffold rail there. We'll use those same bits again in Milwaukee. Okay, step by. Yeah, we'll see how it cuts. Too bad. Let's we'll see. Super noisy. My hood on there for now. Not that bad. I'm cut it here or something.
guy wants wants a bike, so we'll see. I don't know, I think it's HMS, I don't know what you guys think. It's definitely not tin. I don't know, whatever, it's heavy. It's heavy steel. I just didn't want to set it up because it was too sloppy. I need to have stuff that's in better condition. That's pretty heavy stuff. Should be a good payday, I think. I'd say probably about. Um, I'd say pretty close to a thousand pounds. Close to maybe. Tub's got to be at least three, three, four hundred, four hundred pounds. Maybe eight hundred pounds, I guess. Don't have a lot of rotors. The rotors are heavy, so Let's see how this blade fares. bad for blade I had worse blades you know pretty good Actually, pretty impressive. I don't know if I just got a good blade or what, but it's, it's pretty thick stuff. Working good, working good. Got that up like actually really good to be honest. Pretty thick stuff. And the blade is bent a little bit but not bad. So actually the blade is pretty good. It's a five times, five times in Milwaukee. Okay, hey, it's all, everything's in there that I'm taking. So this is a, uh, the bad tub, look how thick it was. 
thick. It was really hard for some reason. Usually they're not that hard. I don't know why that was really tough. I think the guys were hammering hard enough. I don't know, but I smashed a whole bunch of the other other style, the claw tub. So that's my load. You guys guess for tomorrow. Um, rest is gonna stay. Get rid of that bike. That's aluminum. Just don't know about this. Sometimes this kind of stuff you need something. Like that silica heavy gauge that is. Maybe I'll cut this up, see how the blade goes for this. So cut more cuts quickly. Let's see what it does. Just on the outside part, I guess. Yeah, pretty easy. pretty good rest will break down later okay I think that's it for the video guys area is clear you saw the upstairs I swept downstairs some bunch of rubble fell downstairs rubble and bits of drywall whatever so it looks better there uh, Joe cut prickle bushes here so we cut this area here So when I do a load of garbage, just gonna throw it in. So it's a little better, I guess. Just when they start moving this dirt or gravel, it's gonna level this a bit here and just put some gravel here. And then I have to uh, trim these trees a little bit better. Just the ones that are sticking out a little too much, but I don't mind them to be honest. Maybe some of these, you know, maybe like this one here. See how. This little sticks out a little too much. Maybe cut it here or something. Here and there, kind of uh, reclaim the land a little more. Because I want to eat this for like an overflow. I want to have that area. And then if I have to put stuff under here, just for temporary. Like here, you know, the couple here. A few up that way. So generally not too bad. A lot of, a lot of uh, birds in this tree. Okay. Okay, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.